Hey guys, this is my first video where we're gonna terraform Jupiter and try to make it livable using a universe sandbox simulation. So imagine this, the sun suddenly grows bigger, its surface heats up to around 15,000 degrees Celsius. That's what it takes to push Jupiter right into the habitable zone. First, we're using a laser to burn away Jupiter's gases, helium and hydrogen, leaving behind just the silicate core, basically a solid surface. On the right, in the control panel, you can actually see the gas fading away while the solid part stays. That's exactly what we need for our terraforming process. Let's speed things up a bit so Jupiter can cool down faster. One day here lasts only nine hours, so let's stretch it to 19. That's a little closer to Earth's day length. Jupiter's six times more massive than Earth, so we'll cut that in half, just to make terraforming easier later. Now for the next step, an important one. We've got to load Jupiter with all the right ingredients for life. To do that, we'll use two asteroids. We'll add oxygen, water, and nitrogen to them to build up the atmosphere. We're doing the same thing with this asteroid, and now it's kind of starting to look like our Earth. Let's keep moving. We're launching asteroids at Jupiter to see what changes. Yup, like I said, something went wrong. The atmosphere and water spread aren't showing up. I think I know why. The atmospheric pressure was too high, so I had to lower it a bit. Now we can see the vegetation forming, but the temperature's too low. Let's figure this out. Jupiter's orbit became elliptical, so the surface temperature isn't even and changes sharply because the distance to the sun varies. Let's fix that and bring the eccentricity down to zero. Perfect. Now let's raise the water level on the planet so it looks visually stunning. We're also moving Jupiter farther from the sun so the temperature evens out. All right, friends, it's starting to look like our Earth although there are still issues with gravity and atmospheric pressure because of Jupiter's bigger mass and radius. Let's add some clouds in the form of a storm to make it look cool and thick. And give the atmosphere more density. Not bad at all. The atmosphere is formed and vegetation and water are present. The simulation required a significant amount of time, 3,000 years in total. The similarity to Earth is 83%, which is fairly high. The probability of life is 26%, which is a good outcome for a planet of this type. Jupiter has 95 moons. We added its four largest satellites to see if it can retain them in orbit. The moon's orbits are unstable. Jupiter's mass is insufficient to hold them. Ganymede and Europa collided due to orbital instability. Io, however, remains stable. Let's place Earth next to Jupiter for comparison. Yep, Jupiter is a bit bigger than Earth, but overall they look very similar. And that's a wrap for this video. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe. More cool content is coming. Don't miss it.